kimoja wapo nchini ameshtakiwa kufichua siri ya akaunti ya mteja wake aliyepoteza shilingi milioni mbili nukta mbili bwana Simon Sirere Seno afisa wa masuala ya kiteknolojia katika benki ya cooperative alishtakiwa pamoja na Harrison Mwaura Njoroge kwa wizi wa shilingi milioni mbili nukta mbili kutoka kwa akaunti ya B Nancy Nyambura Kihanya mabwana hao kwa mara ya Seno na Njoroge na Amin Seno Njoroge pamoja na Barak Ochieng Olucho ambaye hakuficha hakufika uh, kotini walikabiliwa na shtaka la kushiriki uhalifu kwa kutembelea matawi mengi ya bank ya cooperative kuiba wakitumia ujanja wa teknolojia kimtandao mabwana Seno uh, na Njoroge walikabiliwa na shtaka hilo la kuiba shilingi milioni mbili nukta mbili kutoka kwa akaunti ya Biki Hanya iliyoko tawi la cooperative Kayole Nairobi wawili hao walishtakiwa mbele ya hakimu mwandamizi Gilbert Shikwe walikanusha mashtaka hayo kwa bana mashtaka sita ile kabili wao walikanusha kwamba hatujahusika katika shtaka la kuunda njama za kuibia benki na wizi wa shilingi milioni 2.2 bwana bwana Seno na Njoroge walishtakiwa pamoja lakini bwana Seno alishtakiwa peke yake kwa kuvuruga mitambo ya kompyuta ya benki hiyo ya cooperative bwana Seno alikana mashtaka manne ya kuvuruga mitambo hiyo bank na kufu, uh, kuchukua taarifa za akaunti ya bi kihanya na kuzipeana uh, kwa njoroge hivyo ndivyo alivyokana kusa lakini kufuatia kufichuliwa kwa taarifa za akaunti hiyo shilingi milioni mbili laki mbili na kumi elfu mia mbili arobaina moja nukta au senti hamsini ziliibwa kutoka kwa akaunti ya bi kihanya mahakama iliombwa iwaachilie wawili hao kwa dhamana lakini kiongozi wa mashtaka bi judi Coach alipinga akisema kuwa kesi hiyo itaunganishwa na nyingine inayosikilizwa na hakimu mwandamizi B Martha Nanzushi. Bwana Shikwe aliamuru kesi dhidi ya mabwana hao kwa maana ya Seno na Njoroge itajwe mbele ya B Nanzushi itenge, itengewe siku ya kusikilizwa na washtakiwa waombe dhamana wao hapo hapo. Hakimu huyo alifahamishwa na wakili aliyewakilisha wawili hao kwamba waliitwa nguvuni mnamo alhamis punde tu baada ya kusikilizwa kwa kesi nyingine inayowakabili wawili hawa walikamatwa pindi walipokuwa wanaondoka katika mahakama inayosikiliza kesi nyingine dhidi yao walizuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi na kufikishwa kotini bila hata kurudi makwao wakili alifichwa hivyo pia wakili huyo aliambia mahakama kwamba hakujua ikiwa washtakiwa wanakabiliwa na kesi nyingine hadi watakapofikishwa mbele ya B na Zushi kutoa mwelekeo wa kesi hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo taarifa hiyo inawahusu wawili hawa matapeli e, wataalamu wa IT lakini ni matapeli wameshtakiwa kufichua ile account na siri za mteja wao aliyepoteza shilingi milioni mbili nukta mbili hivyo ndivyo ambavyo taarifa hiyo inasema. Sasa baada ya wili hao kufikishwa kotini, eh, kuna taarifa nyingine ambayo inahusiana na Mheshimiwa Makamu Rais yanasema tutakutana kotini siku ya Alhamis. Na yeye pia akiwa maeneo yale yale ya Elgeyo Market siku ya jana, Makamu Rais Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua amezungumza juu ya utaratibu utakaoendeshwa na yeye pamoja na mawakili wake siku ya Alhamis wataungana pamoja kuelekea wapi? Kuelekea kotini kuzua hili ambalo linaendelea sasa makamu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua huyu hapa akizungumza na wananchi wa Elgeyo Chief Justice ametuambia tulalamike tungataka kumuuliza uh, her leadership chief justice aambie wa Kenya how many complaints have been filed against the judicial officers how many she has dealt with and what is the timeline to conclude those petitions is important i'm a challenge sisi to throw a ushahidi i will lead by example on thursday this coming week at 2:15 i'll personally present a petition before lady chief justice mother come against justice esther maina for her removal from the judiciary for misconduct and corruption 
Mimi mwenyewe ndio nitaongoza. Because Eh, hey, sasa unajua sasa si ametuuliza. Sasa tuko tayari mimi ndio taongoza kwa executive. Huyo judge through corruption declared my hard and worth wealth proceeds of crime without giving me an opportunity to be heard. Again is the rules of evidence where he who alleges must prove. We made an application to cross examine the investigator akakata kwa sababu anajua there is no case na evidence tuko nayo vile ilifanyika so 2:15 on Thursday my lawyers are preparing mimi mwenyewe because he has challenged us i think now tufanye kazi sasa si tufanye kazi eh bali sasa tumefika ni rais ni sawa ni rais you know we were president when you came you are very kind to the judiciary and the way mheshimiwa hapa amesema to teach lsk when president uhuru through impunity refused to appoint judges they never said anything when dci was carrying out extrajudicial killings in this country they were quiet when the leader of opposition said he'll mobilize a million people against the judiciary they were absent sasa ndio wako pale. So wacha na nauliza wa Kenya wengine wale wote wako na petitions against judges. Those who may want to join me on Thursday tupeleke pamoja. Pale Supreme Court tuanze kupeleka, aanze ku process. Na tueleze zile amepata ni ngapi, amefikisha wapi because he has invited us. That is the forum tutatumia ndio hii Kenya yetu iweze kutembea sawa sawa. Tumekubaliana watu ya Alba mara kwetu. Tumekubaliana. So sisi tuko na shukurani kwenu. You really supported the president and I and we are entirely very grateful. Na sisi mkituita hapa tutakuja mapema. Ile tu nimeona Jamhuri ya Kenya Daktari William Samoe Ruto baba wetu askofu viongozi wetu wa Kristo na wakaaji wa Alga Marko eta mjambo God is good and all the time Mnisalimia hewa bwana Yesu asifiwe Asanteni sana Mheshimiwa Rais mimi sina mengi yangu tu ni kusema asanti kwa wakaaji wa kaunti hii yetu kwa vile walituombea wakatupatia kura tukapata nafasi ya uongozi kwa niaba ya Rais William Ruto na mimi mwenyewe na timu yetu nataka niseme asanti kongoe kabisa. Nyinyi mlituombea mkatusaidia. Na mnajua rais na mimi tulikuwa kwa kona mbaya. Kwanza mimi mnajua bahari nilikuwa. Kwa hivyo vile mlinisaidia mkisaidia rais nataka niseme asanti. Sisi hatuna mengi rais ni kuambia hawa wakaaji wa Elgol Market ya kwamba vile imesemekana hapa ni kweli katika kura zako zile ulipigiwa pamoja na mimi hawa ndio walikuwa namba moja katika eneo hili na tunataka tuseme asante na kwa hivyo kwa mnajua mimi ndio ninakaaga na ile register ya vile watu walipiga kura si mnajua kwa hivyo mambo yenu iko sawa na rais alikuwa na kikao na hao viongozi jana usiku paka karibu saa sita unusu na nilikuwa nimeketi pale na kitabu yangu na ile maneno ikisemwa mimi nasema ndio. Mimi nasema ndio. Mimi nasema ndio. Kwa sababu nyinyi mlipanda lazima mvune. Na hakuna makosa ya kuvuna kama ulipanda ama iko makosa. Eh, yeah, uwezi panda mahindi uvune maharagwe. Ukipanda mahindi unavuna nini? Nyinyi muli invest kwa hii serikali ya rais wetu and it is only fair pia mfanyiwe kazi. Lakini viongozi hii maneno muziongee sana. Sasa unaona hii watu ya makamera wanatufuata kila pahali. Sasa tukiongea mambo yetu hapa ya nyumbani wanatangazia kila mtu. So nyinyi maneno mengine msukume rais sana. Mambo yenu iko sawa. Unajua mambo hii inataka uerevu kidogo. Si ndio? Eh? More malat court. Mm. Si tumekubaliana? Eh, kwa hivyo so nyinyi <laughs> Siko mama ya nyumbani. 
Muzi zuko mara hizi sana. Mambo jana usiku tumekuwa na kikao. Sasa mnalanika maneno yetu hapa yote. Hapana pole pole. Pole pole mambo si mbaya. Na si mimi niko pale. Na si rais yako. Barabara iko sawa, mbele iko sawa. So nyinyi mnyamaze tu. Hii 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 mtaona. Na hakuna mambo ni mzuri. Na huyu rais wetu anangangana. Na mimi nataka ni confirm nikiwa msaidizi wake wa karibu saa kumi usiku ameamuka anachapa kazi mpaka usiku every day na ni vile alikuta Kenya ikiwa kwa kona mbaya mimi nilisema pale kasarani watu wakasema mimi ni mcheuri nikasema tumekuta nchi imefidisika karibu ipigiwe kengele hata store hakuna panya kwa sababu hakuna kitu ya kukula raisa ameasa upya na mambo imeanza kuingia laini pole 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 so nyinyi mkuwe na supra mumuombe rais mvumilie na mambo si mbaya rais mimi ningetaka tu niseme kwa mambo ya usalama kwa sababu ulinituma hapa kwa economic forum na kwa niaba yako nikawaahidi hawa wakaaji wa Elgal Market na Kerio Vari ya kwamba serikali ambaye itamaliza ugaidi ni serikali ambayo itaongozwa na William Samoe Ruto. And your excellency it is important i confirm to the people of this great county that in cabinet in the national security council you have pronounced yourself clearly without any contradiction that this nonsense of budgetary must come to an end in your administration. Na kwa hivyo mimi nauliza viongozi mkuwe na sobra. So far your excellency we are 80% successful. Professor Kindiki has been to this county countless times. Aden Dwale has been here. On Thursday chief of defense forces IG wa here. Iko kazi mingi sana inaendelea. Mnajua a problem of 30 40 50 years cannot be addressed overnight lakini mikakati imewekwa but what is important is the commitment of this administration because that is what has been lacking the commitment to deal with this problem once and for all kwa hivyo nyinyi vile mheshimiwa dwale amesema buduki ni askari wewe buduki kama hapana askari hakuna haja ukue naye so musilie ukipatikana na buduki bas Siraisa alisema mambo ni ngapi? Ni ngapi? So wacha tufanye kazi. Because your excellency this county is very productive. Maembe yale mazuri zaidi katika Kenya hii natoka hapa katika hii county. Mambo ya machungwa ya kila kitu. We must create peace in the valley so that watu wa eneo hili wapate nafasi ya kuzalisha chakula so that we can be able to make progress as a country. Your Excellency mimi ningetaka kuhakishia watu wa hapa ya kwamba hizi ziara rais anafanya nje ya Kenya they are very important because umesikia pia skipto akisema ile deficit iko hii maneno ya madeni ndio rais alipata na si alichukua hiyo madeni ilichukuliwa na wengine na wale walichukua madeni na watu yao ndio wenye kupika kelele na lazima rais alipe yeye ametembea hapa pale na mambo imeanza kuigiana laini la, la, la kabisa. Na Raisa akitembea kila bahari ni mzuri pia kwa sababu aende atafute. Kwa sababu sasa na yeye akienda si amewacha mimi hapa. Kuna mambo yanaweza haribika nikiwa hapa. Mimi na ananipianga nchi ananiwachia, anaenda akirudi na mpatia. Lakini saa ingine mimi napata bahati, saa ile yako nje, watu ya maandamano wanaleta shida nikiweko ninawanyorosha. So <laughs> So unajua rais ni mtu ya kanisa ya samani mimi nimeingia juzi. So saa ingine yeye anasema bana waacha hii watu tuongee nini lakini mimi maneno ya magogeo unajua mimi sitaki hiyo maneno sana. Kwa hivyo mnajua hata rais akitembea mimi niko na mimi ni muaminifu. Na hakuna kitu naweza haribika hii Kenya. Mimi niko pale na rais na nyinyi msikuwe na wasiwasi. Hii watu naingilia rais. Mimi si niko pale. He, mtu akileta nyoko nyoko niko pale na tuko na jeshi kubwa ya kufanya kazi. Nikimalizia vile mko mnamesema wale wamepatiwa nafasi hapa ya kufanya kazi. I want to confirm and we are grateful to this county 
for producing brilliant sons and daughters ambayo wanatusaidia i want to confirm huyu kitumba mukomen is one of our most hard working and competent and focused cabinet secretaries na kalia akanyangie hapo mkomena bwana sikiza kelele ya watu wewe focus na ile kazi umepewa rais na rais rais ndio mkubwa yako hii wengine wacha tu wasukumuse wewe ngangana na ile kazi umepewa huyu dr chris kipto alikuta ile store hakuna kitu ye yeah, wakiwa na professor dungu wamesaidia rais uchumi imeanza kurudi line huyu dr susan koech huyu wako central bank alikuta pale kumearibika imeanza kurudi line so we are grateful ya kwamba nyinyi mmepatia watoto ambaye wanajua nini wanafanya vile leader wa majority amesema it is true chief justice ametuambia tulalamike tungataka kumuuliza uh, her leadership chief justice aambie wa Kenya how many complaints have been filed against the judicial officers how many she has dealt with and what is the timeline to conclude those petitions is important ame challenge sisi tutoe ushahidi i'll lead by example on thursday this coming week at 2:15 i'll personally present a petition before lady chief justice mother come against justice esther maina for her removal from the judiciary for misconduct and corruption mimi mwenyewe ndio nitaongoza because eh sasa unajua sasa si ametuuliza sasa tuko tayari mimi ndio nitaongoza kwa executive huyo judge through corruption declared my hard and worth wealth proceeds of crime without giving me an opportunity to be heard against the rules of evidence where he who alleges must prove we made an application to cross examine the investigator akakata kwa sababu anajua there is no case na evidence tuko nayo vile ilifanyika so 2:15 on thursday my lawyers are preparing mimi mwenyewe because he has challenged us i think now tufanye kazi sasa si tufanye kazi eh bali sasa tumefika ni rais ni sawa ni rais you know we were president when you came you are very kind to the judiciary and the way mheshimiwa hapa amesema to teach lsk when president uhuru through impunity refused to appoint judges they never said anything when dci was carrying out extrajudicial killings in this country they were quiet when the leader of opposition said he'll mobilize a million people against the judiciary they were absent sasa ndio wako pale so wacha na nauliza wa Kenya wengine wale wote wako na petitions against judges those who may want to join me on Thursday tupeleke pamoja pale supreme court tuanze kupeleka aanze ku process na tueleze zile amepata ni ngapi amefikisha wapi because he has invited us that is the forum tutatumia ndio hii Kenya yetu iweze kutembea sawa sawa tumekubaliana watu ya Alba mara kwetu tumekubaliana so sisi tuko na shukurani kwenu you really supported the president and I and we are entirely very grateful na sisi mkitwita hapa tutakuja mapema ile tu nimeona mheshimiwa Adams anasema ati rais ako nyumbani sasa huyu rais kwa ni wapi i don't understand because when we were campaigning ah wakina mukomen walituambia ati rais sasa ni wapale mlima dio kwao na tukakubali tukamchagua na tunaamini ni wetu sasa tumefika hapa mnasema amefika nyumbani sasa hatuelewi rais sasa kwenu i don't understand sasa i think we'll have another conversation juzi tulikuwa kericho wanasema ati karibu nyumbani tumeenda pale kirigori wanasema karibu nyumbani so sasa msiseme ati amekuja nyumbani amechelewa si alikuwa pale kwetu na ni nyumbani sasa alichelewa namna gani na alikuwa nyumbani so nyinyi mtosheke sasa eh sasa huyu rais hapana wenu mimi ndio wenu sasa mimi ndio wanyu hapa eh huyu huyu alienda hako huko sasa huyu ni, ni kiongozi wa kutembea hapa
Kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi tumeshukuru sana nigeuliza kwa heshima msimame munisaidie kumkaribisha kiongozi wetu kwa shangwe na vigelegele rais wa Kenya William Samoe Ruto Asanteni sana tafadhali tuketi chini <coughs> Viongozi wetu wa kanisa maaskofu mlio hapa Rama imekuwa taarifa umekuwa habari ndefu kulikweli baada ya mheshimiwa makamu wa rais kuzungumza tayari uh, tushakuwekea hapo video yake kwa maana tulienda kwa protocol kabisa rais Ruto amezungumza akafuata makamu wa rais sasa tunaye kiongozi wa